All right, we have the ZVS driver hooked up. I have not turned it on yet. I haven't even plugged it in yet. But um, I've got a nine volt battery here that's powering the gate drive of my um, my uh, MOSFETs. And um, so I've got it hooked up to this power supply. Got uh, some screwdrivers there for an arc gap. And let's plug it in. Make sure it's on zero percent and off. And I have no idea. I just hope there's not gonna be like smoke coming out of it. I do actually hear it buzzing a little bit from the power from the 9-volt battery, it um, kind of pulses at high frequency. Probably can't hear that on camera, but I can hear it a little bit. It's very faint. Um, I've got it hooked up. I've got the amp meter there just in case I need it. Let's throw the switch and see what happens. All right, we'll put it up to... I hear it. Sounds like a flyback. We'll put it up to 30%. Let's see what happens. Nothing. 50%, that should be about 8 volts. Nothing. 80%. Oh, it's working. Sweetness, look at that. Not real big. It's not bad at all for a homemade fly back. We'll turn it up all the way to 16 volts AC, see what happens. Not too bad. Not nearly as good as a flyback, but it, it's definitely higher current. Whoa, it's melting my screwdrivers. <laughs> That's very high current. Alright, so I've got it hooked up to the um, Variac now, so let's test it out. Let's crank it up to 40 volts. I can only go up to 40 volts because this capacitor is rated for 40 volts. I believe these rectifiers are only rated for um, 40 or 45 volts, so I can't go over that much. So, But it'll be plenty. <laughs> oh wait, I should probably get the current meter as well. Just to see what the current is like so I don't burn my Variac out or fry anything. Alright, put that on there, and that's volts current. All right, let's go. All right, Variac is on. Let's take it up to 20 volts. See what that's like. Not bad at all. About an inch. You actually have to almost touch it in order to get the um, arc to start. So it's not a very high voltage, it's just a lot of current. Get about, oh, eighth inch away, maybe less. Alright, let's crank it up a bit more. We'll go to 25 volts. Hear a little bit of sizzling. I don't know if that's. Might just be the high frequency. Oh, not bad at all. Let's put it up a little bit higher. 30 volts. About two inches there. Let's put it all the way to 40 volts. Sounds like a little bit of corona discharge there. Oh yeah, we're getting some corona there. Whoa. Wow. That is powerful. Whoa. Wow, that's like a Mott arc. I see some smoke here. Uh, my wiring is um, kind of frying there. <laughs> I think I need heavier duty wires. <laughs> right here, it was smoking. Hmm. Let me turn turn it off real quick. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I need a little bit heavier duty wiring. I don't know how many amps I was pulling. I wasn't paying attention to that. But um, yeah, that is pretty good. I think this thing is a keeper. I think we need to put a cap on this and get some um, uh, insulators on it. And yeah, maybe I should try to replace the wiring because. That's totally going to overheat and melt if I try to crank it up that much again. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, we got to do that again.
right, turn the power on here. We'll put it up to um, almost 40 volts again. We'll go to 35 this time. Let's see what that's like. Yes, yeah, so you're actually getting some Corona now. Wow, that's scary. <laughs> Jeepers, that's wow. Probably not good for the um, Variac. Uh, yeah, we're pulling 30 amps off the Variac. It's probably not very happy. <laughs> oh well. Wow, that's like three inches. Very hot arcs. All right, let's put it up to 40 volts again for a minute. Just because I have to. Wow. Kind of ruining my screwdrivers. <laughs> oh well. All right, let's take it. Off. What? What was that? Just like fell off. <laughs> ah. Oh, I wonder. No. Maybe the solder melted. Yeah, the solder might have melted, and then the arc or the high current kind of made it pop. <laughs> that scared me. Ah. I'll have to solder that back on. It's nice and warm. That isn't really much warmer. It's about as warm as it was when I took it off the hot plate. <laughs> so that is definitely successful, guys. That is way more powerful than a um, normal flyback transformer from a TV. So, um, yeah. Let's put a cap on this and um, make it a closed unit. All right, a couple more arcs with um, at 40 volts, and then I will finish up the video. Man, that is so powerful. Alright, guys, I was not expecting anything like that out of a homemade flyback like that. That is amazing. I was expecting like a little puny uh, half-inch arc out of this thing. But this thing is amazing. Alright, that's about it, guys. Um... So in the next video, I'll be um, making a cap for it and some um, insulators. I have some ideas for some insulators. Test tubes, maybe? Hmm. That's about it. Thanks for watching.